Hello, I'm Julie Garnier from Rustic Cottage Co. And welcome to my channel. I am located in the northwest of England, but I have traveled quite a lot around the different countries, US, um, Canada and Mexico, mostly, but also around the Caribbean. Through my journey of travel, I've learned to love the different styles of decoration, home decor and furniture and started my own business creating and selling for myself. My channel here on YouTube, Rustic Cottage Co, is now doing so well, I am happy to create every week a different video to show you furniture, home decor of different styles, shabby chic, rustic, primitive, shabby chic, farmhouse, lots of different ideas i love them all i am equally all and differently i hope i inspire you to create too and i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching i'm julie from rustic cottage co hello and welcome this is julie from rustic cottage co and we are doing some crafts this week and i figured i'd do something simple but also a little bit maybe you haven't thought about and with it being coming up next week or um, is it next week week after anyway very soon valentine's <laughs> and i went to the thrift store and picked up this cute little item here isn't it adorable and also this one here which i thought was cute too so i'm going to be painting these up changing them up a little bit it's not a huge difference but something for you to think about so first of all, I'm going to be painting this one and I'm going to paint it a dark, a dark grey colour, okay? So just going to get chalk paint, my usual chalk paint, dark grey, and I'm going to be painting this one up all over, just simply just get in the paint everywhere that's you know do you remember i used to always do that so all i'm going to be doing is just getting the paint everywhere so let's bring it down so i'm just trying to get it into all the crevices the sides and the front obviously do not need to do the back but I just want to get it over everything else. Um, it will probably take two coats. So just going to get that on. Now this one I'm going to get painted up. Um, I'm going to do a little bit lighter colour. Um, so I'm going to add a little white to the grey and just make a little bit of a whiter kind of gray color so i'm just going to mix it in here onto my actual <laughs> table here and just now it's not completely mixed together but that's because i want it to be kind of all different colors of white and grey. So, uh, oh, if you can see here onto my table, I've got some white, I've got some grey and I've got some dark grey. And I'm just going to pretty much just use what's on the table. I'm trying to break it so that you can see it there use what's on the table and just dab it onto here. Don't want to knock that over. So I'm just dabbing it on into the colours. As it's all ooh, you know, the, the white, the light grey, the dark grey are on the table, but they're not 
fully mixed together. So I'm just dabbing it on and hopefully it's not, you know, a complete solid gray look. It's got a little bit of texture and color to it. Now I'm going to try and make sure I do it really well because covering this dark red color may take a little bit. Just get it in all in the crevices here and then all over the top. still got some little bit of a dark on to my bigger brush so I'm just going to put that in on some of the areas to get some of the darker colour again and then go into the white and blend it together I'm doing a dabbing motion because I want a little bit of texture on this and then around the sides as well so when I've completely covered it I will show you what it looks like It's fun doing this, it's making quite the noise, but it's fun doing it. But as you can see, it's got different kind of colours of grey, you know, kind of not all the same. Well, these are both nice and dry. And next I'm going to be putting on some wax. Now, I don't have all different kinds of wax, all I have just is reg regular finishing wax. But you can use any colour paint mixed in with your wax to create that colour wax. So I'm going to put some white paint in with some wax and just Stir it all together as best you can because wax is a little bit hard, but just mix it together as best you can to create white wax. So, as I say, you can use clear wax and any colour paint, so blue paint, to create blue wax. Brown paint creates a nice antique wax. And um, if you use white paint, you end up with white wax. So with my brush, I'm going to go over all the painted area with the white wax. Quite thickly. everywhere around you don't have a lot of time to work with this but don't panic about it um, if you have any issues with any kind of wax the best way to thin it out is to put clear wax on top and that will make it clear again you know the more clear wax obviously the less it is colored but right now, I'm just putting it in all the grooves everywhere around.
And the main thing is getting it in those grooves because when you wipe off in a minute, it's the parts with the grooves that will keep most of the wax. And it'll be wiped away from the more of the smoother areas. So make sure you get it right in the crevices. When you've covered everywhere you want, just make sure you go on the bottom as well of these letters. When you've covered everywhere that you have wanted to, then go back in with a lint-free clear rag and just brush away. Just rub it all over just to reveal some of the dark back. But don't get rid of all of the white. This gives a nice contrast of your white wax on top of the grey. Make sure you do underneath as well. <laughs> the more you wipe off, the more you reveal the grey. The less you wipe off, obviously, the less you have grey and the more white it is. It's your preference. Um, if you want it to be really grey looking and wipe away a lot of the um, white, then use some clear wax over the top just to make sure you've got enough wax to seal in your paint because this also being that it's decorative is your sealer from top of your paint. Pretty much one done. I'm just gonna go over a couple of these grooves here. It's a little heavy on the white. Well, I think that looks pretty good. You can be at this playing with it forever, but you've got to get to a point where you're like, yeah, I like that. And I think we're almost there. And then do the exact same on uh, the other one, the white with the um, the white paint with the uh, clear wax mixture. Get it into all the grooves, same way. Take your time with it. And I find with this different coloured greys, the mottled effect you did with the paint and then adding the white wax over the top almost gives it a stone um, cement look. And that's kind of what I was going for on this. So that it looks almost like a rock, you know, stone effect. So I'll show you when we reveal back. So it's 
nice to do on pots and put plants in because then it looks like the pot even though it's plastic or whatever you pot you bought it looks stone in the end with this same colouring so you've got the white on and now we're going to just use lint free cloth and just white back Again, as much or as little as you wish to reveal the um, grey or to have the white. That's your choice. some of the white on this one it's just on the edges get some onto my brush and just actually put some back on I think it'll just define the edges a little better just going to put a little over the top just where I find tiny little heaviness just rub back again in any of the spots and I think we are done on this one too Thank you for watching. I'm Julie Garnier from Rustic Cottage Co. Don't forget to subscribe.